One of the first things you tell kids and try to teach them is self-control. Because instinctively, we don't have that. So to be violent is a weakness. That's not cool. Anybody can do it. That's why I walk around saying peace all day because I'm trying to suppress that beast in me. I'm too violent. Baby. All I know is violence. Period. That's, that's it. I'm not to be played with by anybody. Police, nobody. You know what I'm saying? That that's, I'm not tough. That's just my reality. I got that in me that that, that, that switch flips and it's on. That's it. A lot of y'all got it. But you got to learn to control it. You got to learn that you are the one that's controlling the switch. When you let somebody outside of you, you turn you on, you turn you off, you're done for. You're a puppet. You got to do whatever they want you to do. You understand? So if you don't have that self-control and that individuality, you're going to be stuck in this same cycle where you get frustrated and get caught up in something and make a decision where you don't think about step A, B, C. You just think about step A. And then when you get to B, which is jail, then you're like, damn. Damn. What we're trying to get y'all to understand is that you got to go through the whole thought process before you do the action. Don't do anything until you answer the question of what happens if I do this. Understand? Don't do anything unless you have an answer first. Because once it leads you somewhere that you haven't thought about, then you're frustrated. Now you don't know what to do. Now you're wasting time. Life's not made for nobody here. You know, just because you may not understand something or know something doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It is your job to learn what is going on. 